Good evening, and here are the answers to the quiz uh, that I set you this morning. So, the geography section, um, or oh, before I start, rules of any good quiz is whoever the quiz master is, their answers are final. So, there's no arguing, no coming back that you got them wrong. So, section one, geography. Question one, name three features of a mountain. You could have had summit, foot, tree line, snow line, face, plateau, and there were others as well. So, well done if you got those. Number two, name the highest mountain in the world, Everest. You should have all got that. Number three, name two countries which border China. You could have had Russia, Bangladesh, Nepal, India, Pakistan, Mongolia, Kazakhstan, and Laos. Lots there. Number four, why is the Yellow River yellow? That's because of the nutrients from the soil. Uh, question five, name five English counties. I reckon you would have gone for the local ones. So I've gone, I reckon you've gone for Somerset, Dorset, Devon, Cornwall, Wiltshire, Gloucestershire, Hampshire. Um, but I'm not going to name all 48, so you can check your own answers on that one. Section two, history. Question one, name one job in Victorian workhouses. You could have had laundry, uh, spinning, sewing or weaving. There were a few others we did in class as well. Question two, name a Victorian punishment at school. And I reckon you all would have said the cane. Uh, but there was also the dunce's hat as well. Question three, name one difference between rich and poor Victorian houses. Uh, the rich houses were bigger, they had more furniture, they had nicer toys and things like that, whereas the poor were much smaller uh, and they often shared houses and shared rooms. Question four, uh, how were men encouraged to enlist in World War I? The answer was through propaganda posters. Question five, who famously led the British army in the Battle of the Somme? That was Douglas Haig. And for a bonus point, his nickname was Butcher Haig. So well done if you got that. Section three, maths. What is three squared add four squared? Well, three squared is nine, four squared is 16. Add them together, 25. Question two, round 2.74 to the nearest whole number. That would be three. Question three, which percentage is equal to 27 hundredths? That'd be 27%. Uh, what is a half add two sixths? Well, one half is the same as three sixths. If you add that to two sixths, that gives you five sixths. So that was the answer. And question five, which is greater? Three quarters or four fifths? Well, four fifths is 75%. And no, sorry, three quarters is 75% and four fifths is 80%. So four fifths was the answer. Section four. English. Which tense should a newspaper be written? That was the past tense. Question two, what is the difference between a biography and an autobiography? So a biography is written about somebody else's life and an autobiography is when somebody writes about their own life. Question three, which bird starred in Coming Home? It was a robin. Question four, who wrote Kid Normal? It was Greg James and Chris Smith. And question five, what is chronological order? That is time order. Section five, science. What are monotremes and why are they special? So monotremes are mammals which actually lay eggs but produce their own milk for their offspring. So well done if you remembered that. Question two, what is the difference between sexual and asexual reproduction in plants? Asexual reproduction is where plants reproduce by themselves and sexual reproduction is where plants need to be pollinated. So well done if you got that. Question three, what was Jane Goodall famous for? She studied chimpanzees. And question four, name two things that Jane Goodall learnt. She learnt that chimpanzees use tools, uh, they showed emotions, they communicate through facial expressions and that they actually ate meat as well as uh, plants. And question five, name two types of pollination. You could have had wind, insect or water. So final round, general knowledge. What is James Gillingham famous for? Well, you've all been to the museum, so it was for inventing and producing prosthetic limbs. Question two, how do you spell embarrass? It's E M B A double R and then A double S, and you all should have remembered that. I'm sure you did. 
Uh, number three, which is the most important month of the year? It's definitely February. And question four, is Oscar's shirt tucked in? I'm going for probably not, no. Very highly unlikely. And question five, how many cups of coffee has Mr G had today? That was at 10.25 a.m. And the answer was back then that I'd had three. So your score's out of 30. 31 if you managed to get the bonus point and you got them all right. Um, put your scores in your comments. Be honest. Remember, if you cheat, you only cheat yourself. Um, be honest. Um, did you beat your parents? Did you have a better knowledge than your parents? And something to do tomorrow if you're bored. Remember, uh, on the last day of school, I spoke to you about the initiative that Oak Lodge Nursing Home was running. Um, if you're bored, why don't you write a letter uh, to one of the elderly that live there who might be a bit lonely at the moment and a bit isolated and uh, cheer up their day and then post their letters off to Oak Lodge Nursing Home. Um, I will hopefully read the next chapter of Kid Normal uh, tomorrow. So speak to you all soon and stay safe.